Hi everyone. In this video, I will be giving a demonstration of how to download and install a copy of Hayes Process Macro for SPSS. And uh, there are a couple of websites that can kind of link you up to the place to download. One of the more conventional starting points is uh, this site right here at processmacro.org forward slash download dot HTML, which I'll include as a link underneath the video description. So if you go to this site, and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's a, a tab for download from the resource hub at CCRAM. So if you press that, it's going to take you to the site at the University of Calgary, Canadian Center for Research Analysis and Methods. Uh, just click under the resource hub. And when you scroll down, you'll see that uh, we have uh, where we can download from process, mac process macro for SPSS, SAS, and R. So I'm going to click on uh, this button right here for uh, download process. And uh, basically, it's kind of downloaded to uh, a file on my computer. It's actually in my downloads folder, but I can uh, open this up. And so this is just a, a kind of a zip that contains uh, multiple files. And in this, you'll see that there is a file for process uh, version 4.3 for SPSS. That looks like the, the more recent version. When I double click on that, we have a custom dialog builder file. It looks like for version 4.2. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you can see that there is a, um, a, a, a file right here that we can use to install uh, the process macro. So if I double click on this, um, you'll see that uh, basically SPSS is going to open up and it'll go ahead and take care of the installation process for us. So you'll notice that it says this action will install the process uh, custom dialog file. I'm going to click on install. And I already have this uh, file installed, but I'm just going to go ahead and override it just to show you. And so it's sh showing you too where to locate it uh, on your uh, under the menu system. So if you go to uh, analyze regression, you'll find process it says 4.2 um, by Andrew Hayes. So I'm gonna click on OK right there. And when I click on analyze, go down to regression and you'll see there's process 4.2 by Andrew Hayes. Now, if you happen to have some problems with um, it working through that uh, particular approach, what you can do is go back under your downloads folder and you'll see there's a zip file right here. I'm going to double click on it just to kind of show you what to do. If you go back under uh, that folder that contains SPSS right here um, and then go under the custom builder file, basically where we were just a second ago, uh, you can uh, basically you can copy this and you can paste it into another drive on your computer. And then you there's another kind of workaround that you can actually be able to install it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under my documents folder and just kind of save it there. And then I'm go going to uh, install it from there just to kind of show you how to do it. Okay, so I just kind of identified a folder that I wanna save this to. So I'm gonna, I've just, I've copied it previously. I'm gonna paste it in here and then I'll uh, exit uh, this, um, this drive right here. And then I can go up under extensions, go to utilities and then go down to install custom dialog box. So if I click on that, uh, then, you know, it takes me to various, uh, obviously, uh, documents in my folders. Uh, and what I'll do is I will, um, let's see if I can find it there. There's process example, and here it is. So if I find that file, click on open, then you can say, you can see it already is prompting me. It's basically saying, do you want to overwrite the previous version? Which just, again, showing you the process, there it is. So I can click on okay right there. And now, uh, it's still going to be installed. So you have really those two routes by which you can install process. Obviously, the first route is a lot easier, but if all things, uh, all if all other fails, uh, you can save a copy to your um, to a drive or, or a folder on your computer. Then go up under extensions, go to utilities, go to install custom dialog, and from there you can um, select and open, click on open, and then you can install it from there. So that's basically all there is to it. And I appreciate you watching.